I don't have that natural beauty or that natural talent or this gift for creativity or intellect or humor. But what I got is I will outwork you. You might be smarter. You might have more talent than me. Your daddy might own a company, but you will not outwork me. But if we get on the treadmill together, you're getting off first or I'm going to die. I will not be outworked. But you cannot erase the work ethic part. Ain't no elevator to the top. You got to take the stands. Look at somebody say it'll work if you work it. It will only work if you work it. The elevator don't go to the top, man. Not in the world of success. The bigger your dream is, the harder the grind. What is your dream? And how much work will you put into it in order to get what you're trying to get from God? How much? And I dare you to exhaust yourself. I dare you to leave every single thing on the field walk off exhausted. When it's 45 on the treadmill, I do 46. When it's supposed to be 20 phone calls, I make 21. Whatever it is, I always do one more. You will not outwork me because your height has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your two-pair background has nothing to do with my work ethic. Because I'm pissed off for greatness. Y'all got to start getting gritty, man. I hate it when I see young people wasting their time just sitting around. But if you can combine your technology with your parents' work ethic, you could be rich, man. I started my church with seven people cooking ribs and chicken to pay the rent. I preached a year and a half in an empty room. We preach with our lights off. We preach with our water off. And they were making fun of me and said I would never be nothing. You got to get gritty, man. You got to get messed up sometimes. You got to get but your feelings hurt. But in order to get the life of convenience, you got to have a very uncomfortable life. You know how hard I worked to get here? I put in too many hours. Sweat, blood, tears. I earned every dime I get. I worked hard to get here. Didn't nobody give me this. You need guts. You can't be this without guts. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're going to have to get up. The more effort you're going to have to put in. I do things to separate myself from everybody else. The passion that I have, the grind that I have. And what that does is it makes me eventually think I'm doing things other people aren't willing to do, so I should get things other people aren't going to get. When you have an opportunity, why would you give 80%, 70%? Why wouldn't you always give 120%? What do you do when you're not, not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. Whatever it is you are trying to build, if you won't sweat for it, if you won't bury your pride and put in the work for it until you will stay up at night and go to school while other people are watching the game, you don't have the right to get it. You have not got the right. This top spot, that's mine. Because not one of you can outwill me. You can't outwant me. You can't outwork me. You can't outdesire me. Every time you practice, you don't care what the circumstances, every single time, you give it 120%. At the end of the day, talent will not win the game. It is work ethic that will win the game. Take full responsibility. Whatever you reaped at your crop, take responsibility. It's the day you know you've passed from childhood to adulthood. The day you accept full responsibility. What boys do is they point the finger at other people. When there's a challenge and you start pointing the finger, you'll never get to the next level. As soon as you start saying it's somebody else's fault, what you do is say, I'm a child and I need somebody grown to handle this. You always want to blame other people. You want to hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself to the fire. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? That person that's holding you back, that person is you. All you got to do is look in the mirror. All you got to do is deal with yourself, and then we're going to get to a whole other level. You never look at yourself in the mirror and say, you let you die. I take full responsibility, and I'll do whatever it takes. I'll get up, I'll stay late, and that's why you point the finger, because you don't like how the pain feels. You ain't ready for the pain. Are you going to say you want to do something? 
do it for two weeks and then quit. You say you want to lose weight, get your business off the ground, and then turn around and party, drink alcohol, and continue to live below who you were created to be. The decisions you make right now is up to you. Decide today that you will no longer tolerate losing. You owe yourself. I didn't get here making excuses. No, my mama don't have no network. No, I'm not at a country club, but I'm still going to be successful. It can't nobody stop me but me. The challenge for yourself, the upcoming winters of your life, don't you think you could read more? Can you get stronger in handling life situations? Of course. But you got to go to work on yourself. You can't blame out there wishing it was easier. Wish you were stronger. And you need to get rid of them excuses. And you need to stop pointing fingers at people. And you need to start pointing fingers at yourself. What did you not do? If you can't stick to something for five fucking days, you deserve to have a shitty life. You deserve exactly what you get. I know you don't want to wake up. You don't have an option. Get up. There's a certain lifestyle we want. You got to get to a point where you're disciplined. Commitments don't have nothing to do with your feelings. You do it because you're supposed to. It might require you saying no to your friends. It might require you changing your diet. I had to look at all the things that I didn't have control over and say, I got to take control. It's always you versus you. You got to be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work. No coach, no trainer, no boss can do it. You versus you. You get up. You don't want to go run? You go run. If you don't want to make your bed? You make your bed. You don't want to clean your house? You clean your house. Do something that sucks every single day of your life. That's how you grow. Whoa. And the reason why we fast, because you got to tell the flesh who's in control. Embrace the pressure. Pressure creates diamonds. Nobody likes stress, but in order to develop, stress is necessary. Let it be the thing that makes you get where you want to go when everybody else is just taking it easy. You have to be willing to push through discomfort. No more playing after today. I need you to take control. I'm talking about you. The only person that you can actually control, you. You're not getting up when you're supposed to get up. You procrastinate, but you let you slide. The minute you start pointing the finger, you lose power immediately. you got to take ownership. Take extreme ownership. Get control of your ego. And we're going to do it one day at a time. The secret of your success is determined by what we do daily. And it's someday going to be your day.